guys. Um, today is January 1st. I'd like to say Happy New Year's uh, for starters here. <clears throat> and I also want to point out about uh, when you leave your uh, turtle out and you, now like with Sparky, we had him contained in two rooms. Well, we couldn't find him. And I had already looked in this area, but I had looked down in here thinking he might be between here and didn't look over here. So he's been over in the greenhouse today. He was wound up and made two trips around the greenhouse and started down one more time um, to start a third trip around the greenhouse. So I'm going to get him back in and what I wanted to go over is a brief intro to how I ended up with Sparky as people have asked. Okay, okay, I will film and get Sparky hydrated here. Because he's been out a good while. And he's getting pretty dry. So that's the first thing I try to focus on when I get him back in is hydration. So I've already watered his habitat. So now he can soak for a while. Okay, here is the story in condensed form of Sparky, of how we ended up with Sparky. Uh, we were out shopping and we were on our way home and we were just about a block away from our home when we saw Sparky in the middle of the road. And so LP stopped our car and I jumped out to put Sparky on the other side of the road because you want to put them in the direction that they're going. So then I saw he had a dangling foot and I thought he had just been hit by a car. So decided to just take him on over to our house and I had planned on releasing him in the yard, which I did. So Sparky was hobbling along and it was starting to turn pretty cold. And it just seemed like um, that it was getting pretty late in the fall for Sparky to be out and around like that because it was the end of October. So um, I watched Sparky and it's like he went over onto the patio and he actually looked up at the door and briefly and then he turned his head to the left and he started hobbling around the side of the house and I just felt so sorry for him and I didn't know if he could you know dig down and I still don't know if he would have survived if he could have um, you know been able to dig down being it's his front uh, left foot that is missing And a lady that was really knowledgeable about um, turtles said it depended on how long of a front foot he had as to whether he would be able to um, dig down enough to hibernate. So when I asked LP about taking him to a vet after we brought him in and knew nothing about turtles, uh, LP kind of thought I was 
nutty to even ask to take Sparky to the vet, but we did. And this vet was just wonderful. And he took and he amputated his foot and made him a little pad from the extra skin on uh, his front leg. And Sparky has navigated and been able to, um, you know, now he's annoyed with me, you know, being here. He probably would have be, be doing fine right now if I wouldn't be filming him. But uh, anyhow, they, he made him a little pad like, and, and Sparky can run. He can scratch his head with that little uh, man-made foot um, from the extra skin on his leg. And so that was a start. That was what took place with, um, get you know, uh, bringing Sparky in, knowing nothing what to do, um, setting him up a habitat on the floor in the sunroom next to the windows, which is not a good idea. And the amount of things I've done wrong, uh, trying to learn how to care for Sparky, uh, has just been. I mean, he's been through the mill with me while I've tried to learn. So, um, that's, um, that's the first um, part of uh, my acquaintance with Sparky. So, he's really wore out, so I'm going to, you know, help him get situated and, you know, because he just tries to dig down, but he does a horrible job. So, and I'm going to get some heat on for him. So, that's it, guys, and again, Happy New Year.